Hello, it's Evangelist Tabitha Struther, and that's right, it's another edition of Talking with Tabitha. I greet you today on this Super Soul Sunday, as Oprah would call it, but I just say this is the day the Lord has made, and I'm truly rejoicing in it. Today at our church, Radical for Christ Universal Ministries in Chester, South Carolina, we did something a little differently. We wore camouflage or um, fatigues, if you, however you would call it. But it was symbolic of the spiritual warfare that the body of Christ is in at this moment. It hasn't just begun. It's you know been here for a while. But now in our day, we see so much and we see how the world is changing and we see how um, people are going through shootings and killings and, you know, just so much. Ephesians 6, beginning at the 10th verse, tells us about putting on the whole armor of God. And we have to do that. The helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, and so on and so on. But one thing that we definitely have to have is prayer. Prayer is our most effective uh, weapon against this warfare. Prayer is our communication with God. Prayer is uh, a two-way thing. Now, we just can't tell God all about it, but we have to allow God to talk to us. And even when it's one a one-way street, that should be God speaking to us and giving us instruction. So in this army of the Lord, God is our commander in chief. So our instructions are in the Bible. But there are sometimes some things that we need clarity about and we have to pray. We have to pray so that God will show us things and and just speak to us personally, because we all have a role to play in this body of Christ and in the army of the Lord. And we definitely have to know how to handle ourselves in this uh, spiritual warfare. So I want to encourage you today to guard up, put on the whole armor of God, most of all, prayer, strengthen your prayer life. Um, you know, in the army, uh, the arm, the soldiers usually uh, exercise, pray, pray more than once a day. And the Bible says the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So we have to pray. That is our strongest weapon in the spiritual battle. So again, I just want to encourage you to pray and I love you and remember that it is a spiritual battle. So we have to handle it in the spiritual way. God bless you. See you next time.